not usually the first one into the park, but that's the case for today. And uh, this is my last visit to this park for about another week and a half, two weeks, maybe something like that, give or take, because I'm heading out of town on my next trip, which I will be doing some parks up in Pennsylvania as well as Six Flags Great Adventure. And actually, uh, 48 hours from right now, I will be at Kennywood, so that'll be exciting. But that's for another video. 11 to 7 today, Ryan and Ellis are gonna be joining me. And I can see there being quite a bit of Justice League today, like more than usual, because it is absurdly hot right now. And since it's so hot, I feel like Ellis Ryan might be doing Justice League quite a bit, like more than usual, because we gotta escape the heat possibly. So first things first, gotta rope drop Screaming Eagle, then go down to the boss, and then uh work on the other rides from there. So let's go ahead and have a good day. First ride is done, and obviously it'll be Screaming Eagle. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Because that line will get the longest line out of any coaster here, if I had to guess. Because when I was here last Wednesday, that was the longest coaster line in the park by a long shot. That doesn't even come close to really anything else. Now I'm going down to the boss and going to get on that one. See if I can do like I did the last time I was here. Or it was like last time or last two times I was here, actually. I might have been doing first uh, train of the day on the boss. I think it was the only last one. I don't know about this, uh, last Wednesday, but let's go try out boss and uh, see how that one runs. We got some actual footers in place over there now. That's a very good sign that track might be starting to be put on fairly soon here. But I'll take a closer, a closer look once I get off of the boss here. Good thing I rode boss when I did, because apparently after this train there's any out right here, they're about to close it for staffing, which that doesn't sound good at all. And oh man, rookie racer, what have we got going on here? I think I'm gonna do my uh, daily construction update for this. First thing I'm noticing is that this is looking very much like either a queue house or a station down here. Because of the way those uh, walls are went out of surrounding that set of footers. So that leads me to believe that there's going to be some sort of station happening here. And as we continue on a little bit farther, we got some construction equipment doing the thing. And we got moss down right there, but that's irrelevant. But uh, yeah, it looks like uh, some more footers are being worked on here. Over there, oh, looks like we might have had construction maybe the vertical. Although, I mean, it looks like those footers over there are complete. So yeah, it actually, I don't know what they're doing down there. It looks like they're digging something. Uh, it seems like they might be digging spots for footers if I had to guess for more of those, but yeah, that's really intriguing now. Obviously no track has been put on site yet, but uh, I don't know. Let's go down the hill and take a closer look at it from over there. Forgot to mention that nothing over here has changed and it doesn't look like anything will be changing over here today as well. So yeah, this whole area still remains a mystery as to what could possibly be happening. Over here, it looks like nothing else has really changed with the exception of the uh, different view you get to those footers. And granted, this is being shot right after the park is open. It's been on for like not even 25 minutes, I don't think. So I'll check back up here in a couple hours, see if anything else has changed. But as of now, it looks like Ricky Racer construction is coming along pretty well. But yeah, I'll report back here in a couple hours, see what else has changed, if any. Coming to Justice League now, and Ryan, you just uh, did a second back on Boss. It was incredibly smooth for some reason. I have no idea why he's saying that. I couldn't disagree more. But uh, anyway. Since this is actually being my last time riding this one for the one of Great Adventure. And also, Ryan, you're doing some exciting today, most likely. What are you going to do? Hit the 100 mark. Yeah, we got to enter triple digits, which I was in for far too long. So let's see what we can do here. Ryan just hit his 100th. What do you think? 100! How does it feel to be in the triple digits now? That's amazing. I know, right? You were in the double digits for a quite, while. Quite some time. Yeah, I mean, not as long as I've been in the triple digits. But literally, I mean, I just got out of the triple digits, like, at the tail end of last season. So I'm still fairly new into the quad digits. I mean, I'm at 1130-something right now. That or 1140. No, I'm at 1139, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, we got a couple rides in there. Now we're going to go take a ride on Mr. Freeze, because just as like it's possible, they could close that for staffing, from what we heard. And if that's the case, we wanted to get Ryan's 100th in early and then go ride Mr. Freeze. So now we're gonna go do that. Oh no, Freeze is close. Uh, American Thunder? Yeah. All right, let's go. That's that might not be good. close too though. And doubt it. Ay, yeah, yeah. that's not good. Freeze is down. Oh boy. Let's hope it reopens. Just did back row of American Thunder. They're running Red Train. That was better than last week, would you say so? A lot better than last week. Everything was like really good except for the last two hills. Yeah, everything up until the second uh, and third bunny hills in the return right also this turn wasn't that good. Well, let's talk about this one right here, not this one. Okay? This one right here. Almost all of it was running good. So we're going to go try Freeze now because we saw that one testing. 
and uh, let's see how that one runs today. And actually, I'll be my last one riding this because I'll be on a skyrocket at Kennywood within 48 hours. So most likely, unless I'll be like a little bit over that. But yeah, just did front row on this. I don't know how the back's gonna be able to top that ride. Wow. That was amazing. I mean, I was kind of stable, but Ryan, you said you had a lot of room on I that. I had a lot of room coming back up. The top hat was a insane ejector going backwards. I know, backwards ejector, it's insane. And I also got a little bit of air time going into it on the return run. And uh, I'm mortally curious about the try in the back row, so we're gonna try that one out, see how it compares to the front. But I don't know how the back will be front row, so that was amazing. Activated, arms down, head back, and hold on. Done, and I think I do prefer the front by a significant margin for today. What do you think? Oh, it's close. They're so good. Like there is definitely some better moments in the back than the front. Oh, absolutely. Like, like the like going up into the top hat from the launch is better in the back. Oh, that's not even a contest. It absolutely is. And then coming off the top hat is better in the front. Oh, going backwards, like yeah, going backwards. On oh the my front. gosh. I don't know if I mentioned uh, this or not, but the launch is way more intense today than what it usually is. It's like side B too. Yeah, it's side B. Usually side A, I feel like, has the faster launch. Not today, it doesn't. Side B felt like it was launching faster than side A was uh, last time we were here because we only rode side A. I mean, I decided. You guys didn't ride side B, did you? No, we didn't ride side B at all. We rode side A oh, yeah, six we, times. Oh yeah, that's right. Side A, I mean, it's a better train. So, I don't know. That was really, really impressive, regardless. We're both in agreement that Freeze is running better than Boss today. It definitely, I'd say better than American Cut too, for sure. Yes, definitely. And since I did Eagle, I'd say this is definitely better. So, we're actually going to ride just like the Thornton. Maybe actually maybe we want to go check Eagle? Yeah, well, I want to check Eagle because I right. haven't ridden it today yet. Yeah, we'll go do that as we ride just like a few more times. I felt the double max coming. Ryan, what'd you think? <laughs> we killed it. Yeah, he and I did two rides, but we were the only ones in the vehicle. The first one, I decided to go for the double max. I was really risking it. I didn't even have like 700,000. I was like 680 something, 690 something. 690 something at the end of the first screen. That's what I thought. So I decided to go for it, didn't get it. And this time I realized I had like 800,000 with uh, the first blaster going into the second screen. We got freeze going right there. I'm going to say, oh, hold on, totally good here. You're the best score I've ever gotten on the first screen. Right, yeah, we're 590,000. Yeah, that we were on point that we were in car number six. Wait a minute. Whoa. Blue blaster at car six. Is that the one that was broke? Oh, shoot. So. Okay. Oh, uh, that's it. We could try and go for the. It was car eight. It was eight. Oh, it was car eight? Yeah, so. it was car eight. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know that. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. So I maxed it, I think. Uh, first one, fourth screen, I have like 300 something thousand on the second one. 325,000. Yeah, that seems about right. And then I literally got up to, what was it, like 780 something thousand by the end of the fourth screen with the second one? Yeah. And then I literally went uh, just insane. I like. Uh, on the last screen. Yeah, maxed it out the screen. You actually found a new strategy. Okay, so I had 960 before the crates. So then In I the fourth screen. Grabbed the one behind me and then shot it the crates with that in the four screen that's actually not a bad strategy because the four screen gets, gets you some uh that's my points. man right here don't forget it <laughs> yo what's up you actually rode with ryan earlier on boss how was it awesome so yeah anyway uh as i was saying uh, so you had uh 960,000, like something like that with uh what you call it without the crates but going into the crates right so you use a blast behind you for the fourth screen then when we were coming into the fifth screen you got the other one and maxed out maxed the one you with using. the cars and then I reached back and got the Joker. And, and we got like 3.1 million in the vehicle. Just us two in there, no one else. 3.185 million. Yeah, we were on, on fire that time. Holy cow, it was amazing. So now we're gonna go check out Screaming Eagle and uh, see how that one is. Cause uh, I'm surprised the lines haven't been long for the most part. And I think Eagle will get a huge line. So if that has a short line, I'll actually be quite surprised. So let's go try and see what's up. Yes. 
We just got pretty lucky with Scream Eagle. The line was not long, which is very surprising. Normally it'd be down the ramp by now, which it's still not. Which, yeah, that's why you would want to hit it early in case, but we have to get really lucky. And as for Howard Road, I thought it was better than this morning. What do you think? It's really good. Right? Which ride do you want to go to? Whatever you want to go to. I don't know. We'll head down this way. Maybe check. Uh, I do want to see if Rookie Rancher's uh, gotten some more progress done on it. So Eagle, it was better than this morning. I would say better than American Thunder. I don't think better than Boss and definitely not better than Freeze. But that's the difference today. Really solid right uh, Mine said it was getting airtime on every hill. Yeah, pretty much every hill except for like one of, one of the ending hills. But Yeah, the, and the Dud Hill. And the Dud Hill. The well, Dud Hill never delivers. Well, yeah, I, it's called the Dud Hill for a reason. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to head down this way. Maybe check a look at Rookie Racer and... uh. I don't think boss is open because they're they're closed for staffing apparently. Which good thing we wrote when we did. So yeah, let's head down this way, see what we can find. We have gotten quite a bit done today so far and we did uh Eagle, we did Boss, well not directly together, but we did Vulcan on Boss. We did Justice League a couple times, we did American Thunder, we did Mr. Freeze. Now we're gonna go over and ride Batman, because that's one of the last uh, major coasters we haven't done here today yet. We might do Ninja and Pandemonium, but if not, that's okay. And whenever Ellis does get here, we're gonna try and get a Plan B Quad Max. I was gonna be double maxing it, at least try to, and then Ryan and Ellis are gonna max it out normally, because my brother isn't here today. So in order to get the Quad Max, I would have to double max it, which if I can do it earlier, I don't see why it should be much of a problem today. So we gotta do Batman, then we'll head over towards Justice League and meet up with Ellis whenever he gets here, so. Ellis is gonna have to cope with not doing the panels. Eh, it really would depend if uh, I uh, struggle with it. I mean, that last ride, I felt really confident. Like, the first time I was kind of greedy, I went for it, it didn't work, so. I don't think we were even close. No, you had like 597. Yeah, we weren't even close. I, I, I risked it there. I almost failed the max the first one, so that would've been embarrassing if I completely missed it because I was being too cocky, but. Yeah, we'll go over and ride Batman, and then we'll try it once uh, Ellis gets here. And then we also got to do long swim, because there's like the perfect day to do it. It's like really hot right now. Like, a, like 100 degrees right now. It doesn't feel like that hot, but it's a hot one. I think hottest day of the season so far. So, let's go see how Batman's running today, if it's open. I have not heard or seen him running all day today. Front row was excellent. We had to wait a couple trains, but I'd say it was worth the wait. What do you think? Four gray outs. That yeah. doesn't happen very often on a ride. Usually it's like two or three max. We got four. We got a- uh, Vertical loops. Yep, the Helix and the, uh, you said the second corkscrew got you? I said the last corkscrew got me. Yeah, for me it was uh, the first one that got me. What are you doing? Still's on a croc. What is that? It's Gary. Oh, Gary from SpongeBob. We just maxed out Justice League again. I got it, I think, fourth, I think. I forget what I got, but Ryan, you got it fourth as well. Fourth stream max as well. Yep. And uh, I just found out the Ellis will be here around 2.40, and it's uh, about 2.20 now. So we're going to get a couple more rides in on Mr. Freeze until he shows up, and then we'll uh, get on some stuff. But yeah, still have not seen Boss will reopen yet, so I hope it opens later, but it's not looking too promising. So let's try Freeze a couple more times and wait for Ellis to get here. Freeze went down due to guest Ellis. We're about to ride just sleep again, but that has no difficulties. So we're gonna ride log while we'll waiting for Ellis to get here. And then depending on how wet we get, we'll have to see uh, how wet Ellis gets. And uh, oh yeah, Freeze is actually testing. So uh, yeah, it has cut here. But yeah, we'll go over there as we ride this. And uh, yeah, we'll see how wet we get. Ryan and I just rode log swim, and uh, we're a little bit drier now, I guess. But yeah, Ryan definitely got it worse than I did. I got him. All of my pants. There's no dry spot on my pants right now. Yeah, pretty much. I think we both uh, got hit in the same spots and went out, but he got it worse than I did because we actually were in the same log for once. And uh, I was in the front of it, he was in the back. So I uh, just got where the Ellis is here now. He'll be joining us, I think, sometime soon here. We'll see uh, how wet uh, he ends up getting because uh, I feel like it's going to be fairly difficult for him to get more wet than you, I'd say. I, I so. think the tally is three for me, two for you. I'll have to check the actual score and then I'll, uh, once, Alice, Alice. Uh, once Ellis rides us, I'll uh, double check it and see what our score is right now. Ellis just wrote Log Bloom and uh, Ryan definitely lost this one. And yep, he lost again. So you didn't get too wet, did you? 
Uh, not as much as he did. Yep. <laughs> so basically, you got a little bit on top, a little bit on bottom. Ryan, I got wet pretty much all over. So you would have beaten me as well. Yeah, yeah. And so, as of who has lost the most, uh, Ryan, you lost four times. Oh man. Not cool. And then I've only lost twice. Ellis, you're doing good. You only got one. So yeah. Ryan's currently in last place right now. But yeah, we're gonna try just like out now because it's back open. Let's see if we can max it. Triple max first try, boys. What'd you think? Good. Good. Yeah. That was actually a really close one. Like, Ellis, you almost beat me to it. Yes, like, oh I God. did, like, man. I got it. You got it like a like what five, ten seconds after me? Yep. yep. Yeah. I mean, you back like about ten seconds after I did. Brian got about three to five seconds after you did. So that was like back to back to back. Yeah. Overall, that was a really solid round there. But yeah, yeah we actually got really lucky and uh, only got to be in the same vehicle. I imagine once the line for this guy is down, we'll be able to marathon this thing and really get it. So. Let's go again. If you're happy, clap your hands. If you're happy, clap your hands. If you're happy, you know, I think you really want to show it. If you're happy, you know, let's say, ah. Oh. do not see a short line for Screaming Eagle very much at all. It's rare that it's a walk-on. So yeah, we're definitely making advantage of it and doing it again because Ellis and I have not done it and Boss over there is still close. So that'd be really unfortunate if we don't get to ride too much. Wow, there's like no one up here. It's so weird. It just, it just, it's just going around town. First time riding the back car on that thing in a long time. And I forgot how wild it was back there. I mean, it was definitely running a lot faster now, but Ellis, what'd you think? Yeah, the, the back was really rough at times, man. Yeah. Especially those drops. Yeah, the valleys out to the drops were not very smooth. Ryan, are you, you sound like you didn't enjoy that very much. No. <laughs> well, granted, he was on a wheel seat, so. I was on a wheel seat and my back just started being in pain. Yeah. That's why you want to ride a odd number roll on this coaster. So I think uh, I'm going to try it up front again, see if that's any smoother, but that was a little rough, to say the least. Well, for me at least, those guys thought it was quite rough. I didn't think it was that bad, so yeah, I'm going to try front again. Hey, the screaming eagle chat, but it's far too late to back out. Enjoy your flight on this screaming eagle. Can I get a cut call? I thought it was uh, quite a bit smoother, but I feel like the airtime was a little weaker. What did you guys think front oh, on it? Oh, so much better than the back. Yeah, you were on the very last row. What do you think? Yeah, the front was way more smoother than the back, so yeah. I agree. Whoa. I mean, like I said, the airtime is a little weaker in the front, but overall, I think it was nothing to complain about. So, Alice has to leave a little bit early, which I wasn't expecting. So, we're going to go ride just a few more times and then figure out what else is in there. We just did a mini marathon on Justice League for the actual one that Ryan and I will be doing later on, but Ellis, you have to go, unfortunately. But yeah. It was nice hanging out with you for a couple hours, and it's so mad Boss was down for you. I know. That's very strange. Like, I've never seen him close that ride for staffing. That's mind-blowing to me. What was your favorite ride of the day that you had? My favorite ride of the day that I had today, I guess, was Log Fulman Scream. 
an eagle, and one on freeze as well. So. Right. I also forgot to mention you have a Zambezi Zinger shirt on. If I could talk. Yep. <laughs> so what did you think of it? It was it was smooth, like not really fast as a lot of wooden coasters normally do it go, but it's still smooth and a little bit of air time and. It's got some nice turns and stuff, so. Yeah. so I've heard from some that it's actually not that great, so I think it's become a bit of a polarizing one. It's very short, though. Is it really? Yeah, it's shorter than Prowler. Really? I would have never guessed that. Zambezi's thing looked way longer than Prowler, so. But yeah, I think, so basically you're saying Prowler's still the best ride of world to find. Yep, and just for me, in my opinion, though. Right, yeah, that's no, totally nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I might be going there sometime and haunt to try it out, which I really would like to, because, uh, now that you've pretty much done that, you'll be able to pretty much rank every coaster world's fun unless you haven't ridden one there. Which, are you, did you not ride like boomerang or anything while you were there? Huh? Did you miss out on any of the coasters there? Like, the I only think coasters I, I missed out on were Patriot and Timberwolf. The reason why is because I wanted to focus on Zambezi Zinger and okay. Prowler. Oh, so. I, I mean like, have you done like boomerang or spinning oh, dragons? Oh, I got on Mamba too. Mamba, nice. And nice. I skipped spinning dragons and boomerangs. So. Okay, all right. All right, so yeah, then once, uh. At some point over the off season, if I go, we'll probably make a video talk about our favorite coaches in Missouri ranked. So, yeah, that might be something to look forward to, but uh, Ellis, it was fun hanging out with you. Yeah, yeah, better than nothing, so. Yeah, we just had some time, but freeze going. Well, we're probably going to do another few rides on that in a few minutes here, but yeah, we'll go, uh, I guess, uh, hop on that. For once, the uh, scoring screen at the end said that I actually beat Ryan. A lot of times, even though I've maxed it well before he has, he still beat me. It's yep, like, that is funny. It's hilarious, and oh my gosh. What else did you do on that ride? Oh, I, fr I, I have pretty much a max on the fourth screen before the crates, so then I just shot the crates with a second blaster. Yeah, but I was at what I was actually referring to. Uh, yeah, what did you do in the room with LexCorp? <laughs> I, I did this, and I got in every single picture. I, just, I don't know how I did it, it's crazy. Now we're gonna go try front row on American Thunder, then go ride Mr. Freeze two more times, and then go, uh, I guess, slap just sleep for the rest of the night. And, and you said you've ridden it how long times? 14 times today. We're gonna get you to 20 by the end of the night, easily. So we're gonna go see how front row on this ride is. Front row on American Thunder, I thought was on par with the back row. Would you say so? But the exact same. And those last two hills again. Yeah, I mean, I think the back, the only thing that the back had over the front was the first jump, which that's kind of expected at this point. But otherwise, I thought they were they were identical. Now, I did find there was one part of the ride to be a little rougher than my last ride. It actually gave me a decent headache. And, uh, and it's not the worst thing I've had. I mean, I felt way worse, so. What's that one part? Uh, I think it was before that little speed hill, before the falls were on the first day. Around. Oh, okay. That little valley, you know what I'm talking about? The valley after the like turn bank. And yeah, the that uh, there's that turn right against the lift structure, and then it turns down, and then that valley after that little turn down, that's the part that got me. So that was a rough part. Anyway, I think we're gonna do a couple laps on Mr. Freeze for six o'clock, and then start marathon in Justice League. That ride right there solidified my belief that at least for today, Mr. Freeze is a front row ride. Holy cow! I got ejector going into the inverse hop at forwards and also coming out of it backwards. I didn't get that last time, but I actually have some room this time. So yeah, backwards upside down ejector is pretty good. What do you think? <laughs> it's like one of the best. I mean, it's one of my favorite inversions, right? Literally. Yeah, yeah we're actually so going to go again because it's literally uh, no line. It's like a walk on. So yeah, it was uh, really, really solid. Front may have been running better in general, but that last ride we did back row. Oh my that was amazing. God. Holy right. moly. We're running so good today. I know, like that launch, it did not slow down. We like flew the time. I'm like, no shot of this rolling back at all. Holy cow. We didn't get any hang time whatsoever. Like, man. Knowing a, a, like a slight amount, we didn't get anything that time. That's how fast no, we were. It, well, hang time going back into it. Well, yeah. That's but good. going through it, no whip. We got yeah, like we were, uh, I, we were fairly it. close to those brakes up there. We got backwards ejector going into it and floater coming off of it. Yeah, it was uh, insane. And uh, we shot with the fact I'm like, whoa, this is insane. Like, let's see if this train launches any faster. I feel like if it's like the one we just had, I'll be amazed. That's slower than us, I think. A little slower. A little slower than one we had. I don't know, let's up. That was flying to the other way backwards. It's really up there. Let's see how high it goes. Oh snap! Oh, oh my! Okay. That was nuts. Jeez. That 
That was about as high as we went. Wow. When me and Ellis run earlier, I prayed out coming from the spike. Oh, that's right. Where'd you guys ride it? I think we rode it in the front. You guys rode front row on it. Front row on it, and I prayed out. Yep, that over angle gets ya. Wow, talk about an amazing ride right there. Like, you're saying no Premier Rides Coaster can beat this. No, I don't think anyone in the future or past, none can beat this. And that thing is just on another level of insane. Where in the world did that come from? Back to back triple maxes. I don't believe it. I am literally awestruck at what we just did. Oh my gosh, what did we get on that last ride? 3.35 million. And we were the only ones in the car. Yeah. And I maxed out the second blaster before the fifth screen. Like, unbelievable. I, I'm rarely shocked at my performance. This is one of those kids where I am like amazed. Like this I This is the best performance we've ever had. Literally, like we are on a roll right now. We got about a little under 15 minutes till the park closes. Let's see if we can do it one more time. Oh my gosh, I'm amazed. I have never come so close to matching in the first screen before. I have like 950 something. Yeah, I was amazed at my performance. They're like I had like 991,000 after the room with the Joker animatronic. Holy mackerel, I'm speechless. Like, if we had time for one more ride, I probably would have gotten it. Like, if not a first screen max, I would have maxed it uh, right before uh, the second screen began. But, oh my gosh, talk about an amazing end to the marathon. You actually had a very close call there on the last one. The, the last ride we had, my gun just shut off. I know, but like, oh no, oh no. And then it came back in the last screen. Oh, that would have been a total fail. Yeah. But, oh man. That was just an amazing, amazing marathon there. Today for me was just extraordinary. My final ride count was 23 on Justice League. I beat my record of riding a single ride the most amount of times in a given day. Cause uh, my record prior to this was uh, 22 on Justice League at Six Flags over Georgia. So I got 23 on Justice League, four on Mr. Freeze and Scream Eagle. I got two on American Thunder and then one on Batman, Love Flume and The Boss. Boss is sadly closed up pretty much all day. And I never made it over to Rookie Racer for another construction update. But what I could see as I passed by earlier, it looked like nothing had really changed. So that's all right. What was your ride count? So 23 on Justice League, which is insane. Yep. Uh, four on four on Freeze, three on Screaming Eagle, one on Log Flume, one on Boss, and one on. Oh, wait a minute. Did you do five on Freeze? Did I tell us? I might have. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Five. I don't, I don't know. Exactly. Five. So sorry, go ahead. Where were we uh, at? And then two on American Thunder and one on Batman. Nice. And you said one on Lockdown. I don't know if I guess they're right now. But... I did say that. Okay. Yeah. But overall, I mean, best part of the day, I think it's a no brainer. <laughs> that last marathon, wow. I think there was five triple maxes at the end. Literally, like out of nowhere. Like, I don't know where we got so good all of a sudden, but oh my gosh, that is going to be hard to top. And if only Ellis was here, he would have been awestruck at what we just did. Before I click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. And be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video. And be sure to share it with someone else you know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. So I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take when I ever visit a park. So be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. I kind of teased this at the beginning of the vlog, but my next vlog is going to be from Kennywood. So stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you later.